Hi there, my name is Jeremy and I want to show you a really cool way of iterating on, on rendering code that renders something to the screen with JavaScript uh, with using just Chrome DevTools. Now it's important to note that this is not a new concept and I'm going to explain how I kind of came to this. Uh, I first got the idea from Brett Victor from this talk called Inventing on Principle uh, and I'll link this up in the, in the notes after I, after I upload this. But the basic idea of this talk is that you should be able to see what you're doing as you're doing it. And this, the, the workflow kind of uh, came to, uh, be, became, to, became more developed by Remy Sharp in this, uh, in, in this blog post and uh, this video here. And, but the idea is that uh, Remy never has to leave the Chrome DevTools. And that's basically what I'm going to show you. I just want to take it a little bit further and show you how you can do this with an animation loop. So let's go to my little uh, test page here. It's called Fractal, but it's technically not a fractal. But anyways, uh, there, there's a few key components to this. Now, before I start editing this, I want to show you that this is actually working. So here's the, the Git repo for what I'm doing. Now if I do a Git status, then you can see that we are in a clean state. Nothing is, you know, nothing's changed. So let's go back to the browser. Now the way to start this process is in the Chrome DevTools, uh, you, it, looking at the file that you want to edit, you right click and then you hit save as. And this is the file that we're interested in, it's called fractal.js. And then we hit save and it'll prompt us, prompt us and ask if we want to overwrite it and we do. So again, keep in mind this will overwrite the file in your file system so um, be a little careful. But we hit replace. And the idea is that we can start editing this code live and it will also save the file. So to prove it, let's start something simple. Let's, uh, let's move the origination point, origin x and origin y, to call it maybe uh, 50 and 25. Now the trick here is to hit, uh, since I'm on a Mac, I hit command save. And now we can see that the little spiral is starting from uh, 50 and 25. So let's change that back, just to make it nice and justified here. Good. Hit, I hit command save again. Now it's not update as you type, it's update once you hit command save. Uh, now the, the thing to keep in mind is that this is actually kind of a, a very simple run loop. So we can see that we're calling webkit request animation frame here, it's calling update, which is the, fun, uh, the method that it's inside of. Uh, so it just kind of loops infinitely, it just clears the canvas and then it does this little rendering call here. And this is what we're interested in. So you could see that we changed the origin x and origin y, but we can change anything that we want. So if we want to change how long the curve is, we could change this from 300 to 200, hit command save, it changes it. We could change the angle to make, maybe make it 35 degrees or negative 35 degrees, hit command save to change it. And we can do quite a bit with this. So let's make it a little bit easier to see for you. There we go. And uh, there's a lot you can do with this. Um, so it's really great for just kind of uh, twiddling numbers and getting it to look right. This is much, uh, much faster than you know, going back and forth between your editor and, uh, and updating and changing things. Now to prove that this is actually working, let's go back to my terminal here and do a git status again. Remember before it was a clean state and when I do git status now, we can see that the file has changed and we can do a git diff and see that indeed our changes have persisted into the file itself. Meaning that if we refresh, it's still using the same updated code, which is pretty cool. Now we can do more than just uh, tweak input numbers. We can actually go really complex with this and change the algorithm as it's rendering. So here's the call, uh, here's the call to the function, but let's change the function itself. Here's draw kink line. Um, this mathematically isn't correct probably because I'm not great at math. I just wanted to see if I could get this thing running. Uh, but the idea is that we can change anything that we want here. So if I want to swap, for example, uh, cosine and sine, I, I can just do that. So I hit type in sine, cosine, and I save, and now it is inverted. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but that's the basic idea is that if you're doing, if you're trying to put together some rendering code and you want to see how it, uh, you know, how it's reflected immediately, you can do that with just just Chrome DevTools, and you don't have to, you know, uh, 
type out the changes and then copy them back to your editor. With the latest, ver uh, latest, builds, of, the latest builds of Chrome, you can just save it directly to the file as we saw here with just uh, git diff and everything's persisted. So this is a really great workflow and it should hopefully make rendering code, uh, rendering programming much easier going forward. I hope this helps.